German Panzer Grenadier, World War II. By the later stages of World War I, the new arrival of tanks could break through the enemy front lines, but the infantry, following behind, could not keep up, and the momentum was lost. Trucks, as long as the terrain was good and the development of armored vehicles that could move across difficult terrain, provided a solution that allowed infantry to keep up with the tanks. The theory by J.F.C. Fuller, which was developed by Heinz Guderian, with an emphasis on speed, was, fast tanks and artillery would be followed by fast mechanized infantry support. The tanks would bypass the enemy strongpoints and attack the weak positions, encircling and trapping the enemy. The mechanized infantry would escort and protect the tanks from enemy infantry. During the 1930s, Germany motorized and mechanized infantry came into being, organized as a part of a combined arms formation. If the infantry is in an armored personnel carrier, they are classified as mechanized infantry, whereas if they were in unprotected vehicles like trucks, they are classified as motorized infantry. In the early parts of the war, mechanized or motorized infantry were referred to as Schützen. Armored personnel carriers provided a solution that could enable infantry to keep up with tanks cross-country. The SDKFZ-251, informally known as the Hanumag, was one such armored personnel carrier designed for Panzer Grenadiers, but because there weren't enough to go around, most Panzer Grenadier soldiers had to be transported in trucks as motorized infantry, which caused great problems when there was heavy rainfall, which made the terrain unsuitable. In 1939, during the invasion of Poland, motorized and mechanized infantry would travel light, stowing their packs in their vehicles and dismounting on foot. However, during 1940 on the Western Front, the infantry started providing fire from inside their vehicles, dismounting only if brought under direct enemy fire. During Operation Barbarossa in 1941, they used this tactic more ambitiously, advancing ahead onto the enemy flanks. As the war progressed on the Eastern Front from 1941 to 1942, both the motorized and mechanized troops had to dismount from their vehicles and walk on foot for long periods of time, when the German logistical system could not keep the vehicles going, bringing the whole idea to a standstill. The term Panzergrenadier came about in 1942, classifying all the mechanized and motorized units as armored units instead of infantry. The insignia worn on the uniform was meadow green, including epaulets and collar patches. The preference for Panzer Grenadiers to fight from their vehicles was aided with the improvement in armament firepower to half-tracks such as the MG42. Panzer Grenadiers were also sent into battle in half-tracks armed with cannons to take on enemies like tanks at close range. As the Eastern Front fell into a stalemate during the winter of 1942 through 1943, the Panzer Grenadiers were again forced to dismount when engaged in combat. By the late war period, due to heavy tank losses, many Panzer Grenadiers had to rely on armored support from Sturmgeschutz assault guns instead. Panzer Grenadiers would often receive awards for bravery because their role meant that they were in the thick of the action. Subscribe for more World War II videos. Get your copy of Simple History World War II today. Thank you guys for all your support on the Simple History YouTube channel. If you enjoy it, please consider visiting our Patreon page. There, you can show us your support for the channel by donating and make a huge difference in what we're able to create for you. Plus, you can get early access on upcoming videos. So let's keep it growing, and thank you for being part of this amazing community.